Hello everyone and welcome to a model comparison here. We have my two Delta Sun 37900s, the one on the right there by Gemini Jets and on the left engine models. So yeah, this is the kind of video I post when uh, I don't have a lot of time and I kind of ran out of videos. So uh, we're just going to do this quick model comparison real quick here. Um, two great models, I must say, uh, definitely. And I'm sure you can already see the biggest difference right there. And it is not an error on either part of the manufacturers, but as you can see, the NG models um, uh, aircraft has the SATCOM dome uh, in towards the front of the aircraft, and then the Gemini Jet one has it towards the back of the aircraft. That's just the different aircraft, really. The uh, the registration November uh, 913 Delta Uniform, that one has the uh, SATCOM dome on the front, and then 899 Delta, uh, Delta November has it in the back. Not really sure why Delta does that. I'm pretty sure uh, having it in the back is a little bit more common among Delta's aircraft, but um, that's not an error on either one, so that's not really a big deal. Um, but yeah, we're gonna do, just do a quick comparison of these two here. Uh, this one I've had for, say, about two years around there. Um, I got a defective, but that was really just a paint chip around the wing there, but that's not really that big of a deal. Um, and, well, the first difference that I want to show here, uh, or actually maybe we should get into that later. I'll save my complaining for the end. Uh, but we'll bring them together here. We can kind of just do a little comparison. I'm going to zoom in here on the noses. So not really t too big a difference there on the, on the nose. The Gemini one may be a little bit higher up, but uh, that's about it for that. Uh, and we have the landing gear, of course, and uh, both of them roll decently. The NG one, of course, rolls a lot better than uh, Gemini, which seems to always be the case there. But pretty, pretty similar in the nose area, and we have the SATCOM dome, of course. Um, and both of them have the two antennae on the top right there, as you can see. Uh, both of them have the two antennae on the top. And you want the NG antennae are normally more realistic than the Gemini ones because Gemini pretty much uses a standard size for all of them, and NG they do change up the sizes of the antennae for the different aircraft. But uh, I would say that they're both pretty accurate, um, even though the Gemini one is a little bit taller, it still looks okay in my opinion. Uh, I guess now we're getting into the wings, so I guess that's that's what I will compare here. This is probably the biggest comparison. I think I have shared this before on the channel, how uh, Gemini, I mean, I guess they already had a, oh, there yeah, you can see it, wing flex right there. <laughs> they already had a reputa reputation for that wing flex, but uh, here you can see it. Also, the, sc the split scimitar on the Gemini is too big. It already was a little bit big on the NG. I think Panda has the best split scimitar, but uh, it was a little bit too big on the, on the NG by the Gemini. <laughs> It's just huge, so um, that's a little bit of an issue in the mold for the uh, for the Gemini right there. And also, you can see the wing color is a little bit uh, grayer on the Gemini than on the NG. Uh, and also, same thing with the horizontal stabilizers. And then, uh, as we go underneath here, pretty much the same. Got the delta belly, but they actually the difference is that on the NG there are the uh, two antennae down there. Uh, if you can get a focus, they have the two antennae there, but the Gemini doesn't. I don't know why Gemini doesn't put that on their mold. I don't know what that was. <laughs> Breaking my table here. Uh, I don't know why Gemini doesn't do that on their mold, but they don't have the two antennae down there. They also have the Gemini Jet logo on the NG, of course, does not have that. We'll move into the rear here. And actually, the NG looks to be a little bit taller than the Gemini uh, in reference to the tail. And actually, even the or wait, on one side, the Gemini Jet horizontal stabilizer is higher up than the NG. That might just be an error on the, as you can see, there's a little bit of glue residue right there. I'm pretty sure that uh, horizontal stabilizer piece right there, that, I'm pretty sure that broke off of the Gemini one at some point, so that's probably why it's like that. You can also see the difference in the colors right there. Of course, the NG is a lot more vibrant in the colors uh, right there on the tail. And I think the NG one does look a lot better in that respect. I guess it's kind of what we expected to. Uh, but the, that is a newer model, I believe, by a little bit. They both came out at around the same time, I believe, though. I don't, I don't quite remember. I don't quite know the exact time that either of these came out. But, the, but I believe the NG one is a little bit newer, so that would, I guess, make sense. 
that might be a little bit better, but it, it would only be maximum a year younger than the Gemini, so I still think, you know, the technology was pretty much there for the Gemini than what NG has, but, you know, they, they have a different way of making their molds and colors and whatnot, so uh, that was just a quick comparison. Uh, there, this is just a small example here. Uh, and I have a ton of Gemini, a lot of a lot of Gemini, a few NGs as well. I guess more than a few, just like 18, 19, no, more than 18, like 20-some <laughs> NGs. Um, but uh, this is the easiest comparison, I would say, because it's uh, to the exact same aircraft. So I figured I might as well do it, because uh, why not? And I also post this on the uh, Model Airliner forum. Uh, just so you can see. Also, I, I'm just noticing this now. You can see the split scimitar there for the NG is a lot sharper than on the Gemini, which also looks a lot better. The Gemini looks a little bit uh, fat. <laughs> so uh, that that's another point for NG. I feel like I've been just praising NG. The Gemini model is also really good, I must say. Uh, and it was an awesome model to have. It is an awesome model to have in the collection, and it was awesome for uh, all the time that I've had, almost two years now. So, um, yeah, really good job on both of these. I've had the NG one for few months, but the uh, Gemini I've had for uh, a little bit under two years, so uh, quite quite the duo right here, uh, both making a, plenty of appearances in MSP airport updates and will in uh, many years to come. So yes, that will conclude this quick comparison video. Uh, I hope you found it informative, interesting, and maybe uh, helped your uh, buying decision. I don't know, these two are pretty hard to find nowadays. So, so uh, I'd say good luck if you'd like to purchase them all. Good luck finding them. Uh, but I hope you succeed in doing so. But uh, I must say these two are getting pretty rare now. Uh, getting hard to find. So uh, I guess good luck with that. So uh, that'll conclude this episode. So I will see you tomorrow. And as always, good night. Auf Wiedersehen. Das Moskva.